knows what's in this box, but Palmer's instructions were very specific. I wasn't even so much as to look at the will before the reading. If Erica can carry that box through a plane crash in the hills of West Virginia without taking a peek, I think you can wait a few more minutes. <laughs> You're absolutely right. All right, listen, you all see you soon. Bye, Jackson. Bye. Palmer, Palmer, Palmer. You always did have to have the last word. Whispering his name in your sleep. That's who we are. You look lovely. Oh, well, Palmer always liked me in white. <laughs> what do you think? Hat or no hat? <laughs> um, no hat. All right. I just. I want to look my best for him today. You do. It's so strange. I, I was just dreaming about him all night long and kept hearing his voice just as loud and clear as if he was standing right next to the bed. What did he say? He said, I'm coming back. <laughs> it's Caleb guy. You were dreaming about him. What's up with that? Oh, more like a nightmare. I mean, no electricity, no running water, no heat, except for a fireplace, and I had to chop the wood. You chopped wood? Mm -hmm. Well, you mean like kindling twigs? No, I mean like big tree trunk-sized logs. <laughs> I'm trying to picture it. Well, when you get that image, would you please picture me chic and sporty and clean? <laughs> There's the mother I know and love. <laughs> Well, I mean, just because I don't like to rough it doesn't mean that I can't. I even hauled water from, from the river, and I actually had to fight to sleep on the couch. So this Caleb guy, he made you fight for your rescue. I want to hear more about him. You know, I really want to focus on the present, honey. I mean, I'm being released today. I get to go back to my real life. Are you changing the subject? Of course not. But look, Caleb, he was just one of those... Grumpy loner types. Thinks he's right about everything and everybody else is wrong. That must have been interesting. Just arrogant. Pounding on his chest all the time, judging everybody else. As if it takes courage to run away from real life. I mean, nothing to respect there. So, that was it? Yeah, that was it. Already. Yeah, I have a flight back to Paris after Palmer's will is read. Well, I certainly know how much you you miss your two beautiful little girls and, and Reese. That loose tooth of Miranda's. I think I might have a date with the tooth fairy. <laughs> but if there was a wedding in the immediate future, have you set a date? Oh, well, Jack. I mean, Jack is so impatient. He'd get married today if we could. <laughs> and you? Well, coming back to the mess at Fusion and after what David and Greenlee did, I feel like I need a moment or two just to decompress a bit. Well, now that David's confessed to setting you up for embezzlement, you can relax. The hard part's over. I can relax and enjoy every moment of the engagement.
this is to inform you that your refusal of Erica Kane's offer to compensate you for the loss of your home absolves Miss Kane of any and all responsibility. Insofar as the damage to your house, property, and personal effects are concerned, sincerely, Jackson Montgomery. You're absolved. Miss Kane. I don't want to intrude. I just thought Jack might be here. Uh, no, Jack is already at the club. We're on our way over there now. <clears throat> um, would you mind... Letting us have a word. I'll I'll bring the car around to the front. Okay. Thank you. Well, <clears throat> what's this about? Well, first of all, you're looking well. Thank you. I'm feeling even better. Good. I was um. I was with Jack when he went searching for you. I know you were. How could I forget? Yeah. Well, I mean before we found you. Jack and I spent a lot of time in those woods. He had that ring with him the whole time. He was so afraid. As afraid as he was for you, he wouldn't give up until you heard his proposal to become his wife. And I did hear it, and I will become his wife. So, if there's nothing else. We, we were in the middle of nowhere. We didn't know if we would ever find you. But Jack's love for you is just so, so pure and so bright that I really believe that it led us to you. He is putting his whole heart on the line for you. And my heart's on the line for him. I hope you're not presuming to know my fiance better than I do. No. No, of course not. Because no one's closer to Jack than I am. No one understands him better than I do. And our life together, our future, will be perfect. I'm glad to hear that. I really am, because, I mean, I would really hate for you to go through with this wedding if you're not 100%. I really don't think Jack could take losing you again. Well, Jack's not going to lose me. Because I have never been so sure of anything in my life. Look, just so we're clear, you may straighten Jack's files and straighten Jack's books, but I tie his ties. And whatever happens outside that office, it's really none of your business. Oh, I just wish Petey could have gotten here after all, but... I didn't expect to be the first. Uh, is the family coming? Well, Palmer wrote letters to a lot of them, you know, Daisy, uh, Nina, Bobby, Michael, Ross, Laney, with bequests. And like Petey's, they've already gotten to those folks. Now, oh. this uh, reading of Palmer's will here, this was specifically for the good people of Pine Valley. Oh, I can feel his mischief already. <laughs> I think you're probably <laughs> right. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to scare you. Uh, it's all right. Uh, uh, <laughs> the thing that I checked on is is all good. Oh, good. Good, good. I was afraid the thing wouldn't be ready. What time. thing? What wouldn't be ready on time? What are you talking about? Uh, Go ahead. Please tell me. Uh, well, I didn't want to say anything until I was sure that it was done, but... Um, well, Palmer was such a force in this town that Jackson and I decided to honor him. We had a um, memorial commissioned. Of, of Palmer? Yeah, of Palmer. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. 